you want to spend a moment on John Eastman? He is such a uh, piece of garbage from the world of law, you know, the architect of the election plot, essentially. There were several different efforts, as you know, to overthrow the 2020 election. Um, several meaning they tried it through the courts, um, they tried it through uh, violence, and uh, they tried it through fake electors. You had uh, any number of ways that they were looking to essentially get around the people's voice, the vote. Um, so Eastman was the architect of the legal challenges that you could be uh, essentially spun because they were completely crackpot. Well, yesterday, a judge here in California where we do the show recommended the disbarment of John Eastman, calling to revoke the law license of Again, one of the top lawyers to Donald Trump during this whole 2020 last-ditch effort to subvert the 2020 election. Judge Yvette Rowland, who presided over months of testimony and argument about the basis of Eastman's fringe legal theories, ruled that the veteran conservative attorney violated ethics rules and even potentially criminal law. When he was talking about Trump and the ways in which you could overturn the election results based on the weak or completely discredited claims of fraud. And as you know, those charges of fraud didn't stand up at all. In fact, oftentimes, when called upon to produce the evidence of fraud, Rudy Giuliani is like classic example of this. Giuliani kept saying, you know, I left uh, the evidence in my other pants. <laughs> you know, it was really like one of those things where they just never could produce any evidence. Now, Eastman, of course, will appeal the decision from the judge, and he'll appeal it to a panel of judges. That's an interim step before the matter will then get to the state Supreme Court. But while his appeal is pending, the ruling will force his law license into what's called an inactive status. So he can no longer practice law in California. I should mention, I think Eastman was a, a professor of law. So I don't know how much actual practicing of law he was doing until he felt I got to get into the game and help, you know, my Jesus, Donald Trump, uh, achieve another four years in power, even if it's not legit. Uh, given the, this is a quote, given the serious and extensive nature of Eastman's unethical actions, the most severe available professional sanction is warranted to protect the public and preserve the public confidence in the legal system. That was the writing from the judge. It was a 128-page opinion, and it lacerates Eastman and his conduct, his lack of remorse. The judge concluded that he made knowingly flimsy claims of fraud and irregularities in legal filings on Trump's behalf, including his brief for Donald Trump in a Supreme Court fight. The judge walked through Eastman's extensive involvement in Trump's efforts to overturn the election results from his early lawsuits that failed to gain traction to his bid to solicit GOP state legislatures to send alternate electors to Congress. So he wasn't just some lawyer who said, yeah, I'll you know stand up in front of the judge and sort of sling it against the wall and see if it sticks. He also was coming up with this plan that was hatched which involve fake electors sent to Congress. It's outrageous. I mean, I just think our memory of what this was all about is so short. No, this is someone who should be embarrassed to show their face in public, who did something so un-American and continues to, you know, have all the rights and privileges of an American citizen. Aren't lawyers, though, you know, they, there's this in movies you see, oh, don't tell your, you know, what the lawyer will say, don't tell me what you did, right? Because they're not supposed to go into court and lie. There are standards, even though people say lawyers aren't good, you know, they're dishonest or whatever. They do have standards. You're not supposed to knowingly lie. And here you have this guy who came up with the whole situation. Yeah. Um, Allegedly. Well, I mean, you know, it looks like it is going to happen, the disbarment. Um, it is true i'm a little bit hesitant to say you know i know that there is this sense that you know lawyers are bad people or whatever yeah. or i don't believe that i um no. I, I think lawyers operate in a system of law that actually does a lot of good it protects people it's a way that you can get um well you can hold to account 
many people who do wrong and many companies, businesses, and other entities that do wrong against you. So I, I celebrate lawyers who oftentimes are doing important work to protect mm-hmm. the environment and to protect right. those who need protection. Um, so, uh, but, but you're right, Kim, the reputation uh, that the legal profession has is a damaged one. And there's certainly a lot of lawyers who don't fall into the category of doing anything righteous. And this guy, it can lead that parade. I mean, Eastman had extensive involvement in this effort to overturn the 2020 election results. And as I say, it was every step of the way. And in the judge's uh, summary, which is 128 pages, this judgment, um, there are all kinds of quotes like this one. He turned a blind eye to any information that would not support his position of election fraud. She found him, Eastman, culpable for... 10 of 11 of the charges that state bar investigators brought against him, misleading the courts, lack of candor, and plotting with Trump to derail the transfer of power. Quote, Eastman conspired with President Trump to obstruct a lawful function of the government of the United States, specifically by conspiring to disrupt the electoral count on January 6, 2021. Any reasonable person can see the inherent unfairness of prohibiting a presumed innocent defendant from being able to earn the funds needed to pay for the enormous expenses required to defend himself. That quote came from who? His attorney. Mm. Yeah. Um, But the judge just excoriated him, scorched him. He's going to lose his law license. He's already lost it now in this period. But the idea that John Eastman can survive this professionally is sickening to me. And I don't think he will survive it professionally. Um, you know, she mentions lack of remorse, unwillingness to acknowledge any ethical lapses. He did testify for hours during the trial. And he, I think he was interviewed on 60 Minutes. And I thought he, you know, he comes across as a sort of sober-sided legal mind. But the reality is, is he's slinging it. It was a power grab. You know, don't take these guys for anything more than what they are. These are just lawyers who are trying to seize a second term for Donald Trump any way they could do it. So I say sayonara, sucker. Sayonara, (laughs) sucker. Yeah, good day, sir. Good day, sir. Exactly. So it is good day, sir, for him because he is out now uh, in terms of his ability to practice law in the short and medium term anyway. As I say, those appeals are open to him. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.